glad I made it. I made it through. In spite of the storm and rain, heartache and pain, I'm still alive, declaring I made it through. I love how he plays with his dynamics. So at the beginning, they had a lot of straight tones. I made it through. Storm and rain. And then kind of came up with some vibrato towards the ends of some of those phrases and kind of inserted a little vibrato. It wasn't as thick of vibrato as he normally gets, but I'm sure that will come later. I like how he kind of sprinkles the vibrato on top of the straight notes that he gives. He does that a lot with his singing anyway, especially when he starts songs out. He takes his time. And I think that's one of his great qualities that he really takes his time when he sings songs to make sure we get the messages and, and the words, what the song is saying. He really takes the time to paint the picture, to set up the picture even to then paint the picture and kind of give the meat a little bit later on. I didn't lose Experience lost at a major cost But I never lost faith in you So if you see me cry I feel like he sings with his jaw a lot, which is fine. Clearly it works for him. But when he says, when you, when you see me cry, cry, instead of cry, cry, everything's kind of right here in that jaw position and the head's tilted up while he's singing this stuff. And if you see me cry, right here, it's kind of sitting right on in here. I think it's great. It's just a sign that I, I'm still alive. Me have some scars, but I'm still alive and still alive. So he kind of had that pucker with that jaw, still alive, and it kind of opened up towards the bottom. And his lyrics dropped too while he did that, still alive. And it kind of got more warm as he went down because of that pucker, that jaw, and that larynx went down, giving that really nice color, the very John P. Key meets Rance Allen color. Mm-hmm. A plan for me, and it's working for my good, and it's building my testimony. Yeah, I'm so glad I made it. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to the background singers as well. They have been singing. All of the background singers for this whole show have been amazing. In spite of the storm and rain, yeah, yeah. On the winning side, I didn't lose experience. Lost. Did you hear that word lost? Law, oh. So he had a law, then a glottal onset, oh, so it came down on that run right there. Law, oh. So maybe it was more of an aspirate, like almost a glottal aspirate thing going on there, kind of like a like a cry, if you will. But there was some separation. The vocal folds came apart, they came back together during that run. You can hear because there was a space in the vocal line itself, in the pitches. So there was clearly vocal fold abduction. And huh, new word, vocal fold abduction, then it came back together. Ad and came back down in that run. But I never, never one more time, I'm so glad I made it. He did the same thing again just now, the separation of those intervals as he came down. Oh! It was almost a little yodel in there too, like a little registration yodel quick shift in there too. Once again, that's helping separate and give precision to how he wants to come down off of that interval right there. right back in there. Uh-huh. He tilts that head and gets that jaw in there and it gives him that color, that Quilante color that we like. Mm-hmm. Lost faith. Pucker. Jaw. I'm telling y'all, he does that a lot and I love it. I think it really fits his aesthetic, his brand, his sound, his art. Well, I'm so glad I made it. <laughs> so glad. 
glad I made it. I made it through. Did you hear that through? I made it through. Crycoin 2 came back in there with the jaw. I made it through. Oh, 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 right there. And I want to pause here and say this. I am so glad Terrell included songs like this and songs like The Prayer um, that he included in another video that I just did with Avery Wilson and Candace Boyd. This song, I am sure, is a huge part of his testimony because it's called my testimony, if you will, you know? But I'm sure this song is a huge part of his testimony. As entrepreneurs, as creatives, as, as artistic people, sometimes we get so caught up in ourselves that we don't know how to progress. And to fight through the thoughts of our own negativity, our own doubt, our own fear, our own insecurities. To fight through all of that and hit one million subscribers is not a small feat. And I want to, if Terrell ever sees this, I want to congratulate him. I congratulate you. I am praising God for you. I am cheering and screaming for you because your journey so far is a testimony to say, hey, if you keep going, this will happen. If you keep going and being consistent and trusting God, like the song is saying, this stuff will happen. I know for me, I get caught up in myself. I see my numbers. I see my social media numbers sometimes and, and things like that. I'm like, man, I don't know if I should keep doing this. Y'all have no idea how much I struggle sometimes to get on social media and to talk and to share who I am and to share stuff about the voice. Y'all have no idea how much of a struggle it is for me sometimes to get on here. But I press through because of what God has given me and because of people like you all out there who encourage me as well. All those nice Nice comments that y'all tell me do not go unnoticed. And so I want to say to Terrell, thank you for pressing through and giving us a piece of your testimony and sharing a piece of yourself with the world. It is clearly touching everybody. You have over a million subscribers now. And look, I'm excited for the next million and the next million and the next million that will come. But anyway, I'm going to get off my high horse about that. I just wanted just to say that, that I am so excited for Terrell and for what he has done in the platform he has given so many artists. I really appreciate that about him and what he has done to his own brand, to his own channel and everything thing that he's done and given platforms and these opportunities for people to be heard. I just want to congratulate you. Thank you so much for everything that you've done, Terrell. I appreciate it. I really do. Anyway, I'm going to push play because I feel myself getting happy again. Surprise! <laughs> I made it through So glad I made it I love his range as well. He can get up there. Like he has a very nice, robust, well-rounded range. He has a very well-rounded voice and range. Absolutely. <laughs> you kept my family. So yeah. You kept my children. I hear you. And you kept my mind. Can I get a witness? Look at his body when he does, are you glad you made it? He kind of really engages and really uses his torso to get that pitch up there. And he nails it both times. He really uses his body. You can see his body jerk up a little bit. Uh, uh, he's really using his torso, his breathing muscles to get up there. Did you hear that squall right at the beginning of that phrase right there? He brought some squall right in there. It kind of came back off of it and kind of got that pucker with that rounded jaw again, right there. He got a little more darker, a little more beefier. So glad. It kind of got lighter, a little more twang, a little more forward as he went to that word glad at the end of that ascension right there. Neck muscles.
muscles are in you so much right there. Ah, when he leans back, he's using those neck muscles as well as his torso to support it. He's reaching up there, using them neck muscles. Ah, and as he came back down off of that high note, the squall came in a little bit and it kind of came back out. A lot of things he's doing at once. He's doing a lot of things at once with his voice while he's singing this stuff. This is not easy. He's very gifted, very gifted. Did you hear that? He came from open, oh, and I, I butchered that run, but you know what I'm talking about. He kind of opened up, came back down, kind of got darker, the jaw kind of came into play, and then the jaw came back out of play, it opened back up. The higher you go, the more you're probably going to open your vowels up. That's why I see a lot of singers like this, when they go higher, their mouth is open more, because higher notes are executed more efficiently with wider vocal tracks, with wider mouths, if you will. So a lot of times you want to go up and open versus trying to keep it dark and go up. I mean, it's not impossible, but I would just say open up. And don't feel like you have to necessarily be loud when you go high, just sing the note. Because high notes are heard louder to the ear by way of acoustics, that's the science of sound. It has nothing to do with what we do necessarily as humans. We don't make that happen. That's just how sound works to our ears. So the higher you go, the less you wanna over push. You just wanna just sustain and sing and support. After that, let the sound do the work. Let the sound do the work. Even let the mic do the work if you got a microphone. Let that thing do the work as well. <laughs> It's just a sign that I'm, I'm still alive and well. May have some scars, but I'm still alive in spite of calamity. He still has a plan for me, and it's working for my good, and it's building testimony I like how he lets his head voice be airy and light up there he doesn't he doesn't try to push he doesn't try to make it beefy right here it's supposed to be soft and intimate again don't feel like your head voice always has to be super present and as big as your chest voice no let your voice have different layers let your voice have different layers and he's really using a lot of layers a lot of textures in his voice and really executing this song with so many things going on to really paint the picture like i said before he's really not painting the picture and really building up the story of the song here you know <laughs> let me tell you something running up is not easy he just made it look like it was easy but it's not easy and he used a who sound who syllable if you will so use that to really articulate the notes in between that ascending run that he just did right there. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. And I feel like it fit what's going on right here. You made it through. You didn't lose. Are you glad that you made it? Are you glad that you made it? Can you wave your hand right there and say, I made it? Uh, as soon as I stopped worrying, worrying how the story ends. I like how he did that right there. Worrying got darker, how the story ends. They got brighter towards the end of that phrase. He really plays with the colorings of his voice and his vocal track and his resonance and all of that. He really plays with it so well. That's why he's so good. Well, one of the many reasons why he's so good on top of being gifted is that he knows how to play with his voice and really bring out different colors, different parts of his voice, you know? I let go when I let God. I let God have his way. That's when things start happening. Doors and windows start opening. I let go and I let God. I let God have His way. Oh, 
and you say I made it through you got it you got it say it I made it through come on y'all so glad I made it so glad I made it I I I head voice aspirate on set right there I I I I almost don't even want to interrupt this part I kind of just want to let it go because this song ooh, I feel myself getting emotional this song, So Glad I Made It. I mean, there's so many stories behind that that we all can talk about that we're so glad we made it through. You know, I mean, it, it's crazy. Like I said before, being a creative and entrepreneur, this song speaks so true to me because I didn't want to do YouTube. I didn't want to do that stuff. I didn't like how I sounded when I talked. So I didn't want y'all to hear me talking. Like, I'm gonna tell y'all the truth right now. When I started analyzing people, number one, I didn't think I was capable of doing it. Let's start there. Number two, I didn't want people to hear me talk because I was made fun of growing up with my voice sounding like this because my voice never changed. You know, I've always sounded like a girl to them. I've always been labeled as a girl when I talk. Um, and so as a result, I never really wanted to have people listen to me speak. And it's so crazy how I'm working as a voice teacher and speech coach and that's the very thing that I struggle with. Y'all have no idea. And I also didn't want to start YouTube because I felt like I just, people wouldn't watch me. Like why, why would people want to watch me? Why would people want to hear what I have to say? Why would people want to listen to what I have to say? There's so many other qualified people who have tons and tens and thousands and millions of subscribers and I'm starting from the very minimum what, three years ago when I kind of started doing a YouTube for real and my first video that I analyzed was Donald Lawrence he rebuked the Red Sea when he posted a video of them singing on Instagram a couple years way before the album actually came out I analyzed it I remember posting I was so nervous posting that first video of me analyzing people and within 20 minutes 10 minutes I was sitting at Starbucks one day and um I was on my phone and I saw Donald Lawrence has commented on your post and I said, oh Jesus. Because I tagged him, I was like, he not gonna see it though, he not gonna see it. And within 10, 15, 20 minutes, I saw Donald Lawrence has commented on your post. And he said, you are so eloquent in what you said. Basically, everything you talk about is what I said to my singers, all this other stuff. And I remember crying in Starbucks and crying to my mom on the phone like, Donald Lawrence actually commented on my stuff. I was so thrilled that Donald Lawrence looked at my stuff and actually said something back to me. And I knew then, I was like, okay, I'm on to something here. I guess I should start doing this more. But I remember not wanting to do that because I wasn't qualified in my brain. I didn't feel qualified. I didn't want people to hear me speak because people make fun of me my whole life, you know? I sung Sperna Alto in church and everywhere else. So people made fun of me for that and I hated it, you know? I felt inadequate as a singer. I feel like there were so many people who were better than me as singers, especially growing up, especially in my mid-20s, early mid-20s. I almost stopped singing completely. Like, uh-uh. I ain't about to sing no more. Forget this. I don't want to do this no more. I don't feel like I'm as good as they are. And I know you should compare yourself to people. I understand that. But y'all, we do it. That's human nature. We do it to ourselves. I'm gonna call myself out. I do it all the time. But I am so glad that I made it through. I'm so glad I didn't listen to that voice in my head saying, you shouldn't do this. I'm so glad to listen to that voice in my head saying, uh, people don't hear you speak. People don't hear what you got to say. You know, I mean, if I didn't do that, how would I be where I am right now? And, and, and not that I'm at the top or anything, but to be where I am now is a huge testament of God's faithfulness in my life. And I know I'm here to talk about the voice and everything, but I want to encourage somebody out there who's struggling to start, who's struggling to get their feet off the ground, who's struggling because I've been there. I've been there. And I will continue to be there from time the time I've been there just jump just go trust God I always tell people I'm long for the ride people always ask me how do you do what you do and how did you I just say I'm long for the ride whatever God takes me is where I'm gonna go and that has been my testimony and my mainstay this whole journey of opening my business and this whole journey of gaining clients over the world and this whole journey of YouTube growing by leaps and bounds and TikTok growing by leaps and bounds because I trusted God and I said you know what let me just try this and see what is out there a lot of people don't pull that trigger. They don't want to try. So I want to encourage you to try and make it through. And sometimes making it through doesn't always mean those thoughts never come. To me, I always tell my clients, sometimes
times fighting the confidence and fighting the fear is understanding that it is a lie. That is a lie. What you're thinking about yourself, those negative thoughts are a lie. They are a lie. They are a lie. Trust God with your gift. Trust God with your thought. Trust God with your idea, whatever it is, trust him. And I feel like God gives us these ideas. I know the Bible says, you know, he gives the desires of our hearts. I feel like he gives us these desires to then give him the glory and to then help somebody else. And I know we'll talk about the voice. I'm gonna get back to the voice and I might not finish this video, but this has encouraged me so much. And honestly, I didn't want to do this video. I'm talking a lot, but it's okay. Yeah, I wasn't going to do this video. I had other videos planned. I pre-recorded my videos well in advance. So I'm like, I'm going to just time these. But when I posted my video about Avery Wilson and Candace Boyd, about a million of y'all got in them comments and said, please do come on take Gavin. I said, okay. All right, I'm sitting at Starbucks with my hair wrapped up like this. I got a sty, y'all. I have a sty in my eye on this video just to tell you how much I was not planning on recording this. But I'm so glad that I listened to my gut, which is God's speaking in my opinion i'm so glad to listen to what god was saying hey just go record this video real quick this video has encouraged me so much and i just want to once again encourage you and thank you terrell for listening to god and providing this stuff for us to listen to and for us to enjoy we are so happy for you and i can't wait for the next million to come and the million after that to come and the billion after that to come okay but okay i'm gonna try to finish this video i'm gonna try his voice in that he has a little compression a little a little squall in there and he's really preaching at this point because he is a very charismatic singer and I feel like he plays those strengths so well and I feel like at this point when you flowing like this just let it go sing what you want to sing sing it how you want to sing it let it flow let it flow don't feel like it has to be perfect don't think like it has to be right just let it flow and it will be fine it will be right it will be fine if you just let it flow and let go and just let the moment happen don't get so caught up trying to be perfect and i gotta be like this and i gotta sing like that and i gotta make sure i'm right no we as listeners when this kind of stuff happens we just want to have an experience it's way past sounding good it's way past making sure my runs are right it's what is the experience what is trying to transform Inspire. What is supposed to be transpiring right now? And how can I tune in and plug into that very thing? And I feel like he has that gift so well to flow and to say what is on the heart of many. This is kind of like intercession right here. He's saying what's on the hearts of many. And with that gifting, he can articulate some things that we can't say. Some things that we can't say, he can articulate that through his gift and through his anointing and through his voice, through what God has given him, you know? And I feel like at a certain point, God just let go of the fact that it has to sound good. You're going to sound good because you're gifted. Let the moment happen. Let it happen. So he got brighter, got darker towards the end. Drop that larynx. It really got darker, puckered those lips. That jaw came right back in.
a sign that you are alive you do have some scars but you're still alive that last you are alive that nice ascending one right there you alive however he did that that going from the head voice to that higher chest voice and then coming down to that lower larynx right there Woo! and doing it that quick with that run Top notch. Spite of calamity, family and friends, he still has the plan. And it's working for your good. And it's building your testimony. Ooh. Ooh. If you don't get nothing else from this video and nothing else from what he said, keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. If you don't get nothing else from everything that I said today, everything that he's saying in this video, keep going. Do not stop. Do not shut yourself up because of what folk have to say. Do not shut yourself up because of your own negative thoughts. And it's hard. I know. I've been there and I have been there and I will continue to be there from time to time because I'm human. It is hard. It is hard. Don't stifle your gift that God has given you. Keep going because somebody after you is going to need to see your testimony. Like I need to see Terrell's, somebody's going to see your testimony. Somebody's going to say, wow, they made it, I can do it too. Because you never know who's watching. You never know who's watching, who's listening, who's following you, who's subscribing to you, who's involved in what you're trying to do, who feels connected to you just because of who you are. Just because of who you are. Keep going, please. Please keep going. I am a witness. I am a testimony to keep going. Keep going. Don't ever stop. You people may not understand what you're trying to do. Don't stop. I remember being in grad school and people thought I was crazy about how I thought about the voice. They thought I was, why are you trying to do all that stuff you're trying to do? But for some reason, I knew what I wanted to do and the vision that God has given me. And now look where I am. And I'm boasting in God. I'm not boasting in myself. I'm not saying I made it, I did it. I'm saying, look what God has done. Look what God has done. Look what he's done in my life. And he can do the same for you. But you got to keep going. You cannot stop. You cannot stop. It's going to be hard. I'm not going to sit here and lie to you and say it's going to be easy. Oh, yeah, it'll be fine. I wish. You will have great moments, though. Remembering the goodness of God, you will have great moments. But as the songwriter said, be grateful for the good times and the bad times. God has not always promised us sunshine. That's not the way it's going to be. But a little rain mixed with God's sunshine. A little pain makes you appreciate the good times. That's what the songwriter said. So be grateful. And the end of it says, for it will be all right. It's gonna be all right. It's gonna be all right. 
all things work together for the good of them who love the Lord, who are called according to his purpose. It's going to be all right. I can do all things through Christ who gives me. It's going to be all right. The weapons cannot prosper. It's going to be all right. I am more than a conqueror through him that loves me. It's going to be all right. It's going to be, I will let nothing separate me from the love of God in Christ Jesus. Not famine, not death, not powers, or principalities, nor height, nor death, nor any other creature shall be able. It's going to be all right. It's going to be all right. It's going to be all right. I encourage myself today. It's going to be all right. And I hope somebody else heard me tonight. It's going to be all right.